Okay, I'm outside the flame worker's room. Uh, so here's a funny fact. Uh-huh. If, uh huh. I'm pretty sure if I walk in there, he's gonna kill me. I'm not very good. So let's hope I have a shard of arch stone. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, we are going to leave and become more powerful, and by that I mean get stuff to help me cheese this boss to death because otherwise I'm not going to be able to kill him. Word. He's this big thing and he's on fire and he's like rah, rah. Well, He sounds like was Balrog the, was from the name Street like, Fighter. Was the name like Flame Lurker? Yeah. That, 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 that's he's a, a complete fucking tool and a shit dick and if you try to melee him he's like nope and he has AOE out the ass. Uh, so does, we're going to use other ways to kill him. Does he burrow underground and he's a member of the Zerg Swarm? Mm-hmm. He's, if I hadn't installed Brood War we wouldn't have to fight him. All right, we're going. Hold oh, first. We're gonna drop shit off. Stockpile uh, uh, Tommy. Stockpile Tommy. Tommy, why? Oh, Tommy, come back to me. <laughs> Maybe I never, even, I never even met you, Tommy. I assume that's why he doesn't come over anymore. Is because I started getting too clingy in my videos. Well, if you come over, you'd stop being so clingy. <laughs> All right, I need that to make the blue blood. I don't need you or the hands of God. What if it was the armor of God? <gasps> it's, well, It'd be a Jackie Chan movie? Yes. You, you have a heart of gold! Don't let the demons take it from you! Ha, sh -sh -ha, sh -sh -ha. We're going to the Tower of uh, Latriana? Latria? We're going to the Tower of Katrina. Vol uh, was it volcanoes. Uh, the hurricanes. Satsuki. Satsuki. Isn't Katrina also the, the uh, name of the planet that Bill's home base is on or whatever in Star Fox? Sounds like it could be. Yes. What about Katarina? What's your opinion of that Actually, character? No, it, was, it was Katina. Yeah, it was Katina, I guess. You ever play as Katarina, Garrett? I actually have not, no. Do you refuse? Uh, no, I just play better characters. Because I'm better than that. Okay, this place is atmospheric as shit. It's called the Prison of Hope. <laughs> oh, jeez. So it's, it's full of hope, right? Yeah. I hope you two fucking find better places in the afterlife. I'm doing them a favor. Um, oh yeah, by the way, there are these guards. They're not pleasant. Does he see me? Yes, he does. Oh, what a motherfucker. God damn. <laughs> what a shit dick. Oh, we hear uh, Clavis Mavis down there losing his mind. The first time I played this game, because I played this game completely blind, I didn't know anything about it other than that it was very hard or supposed to be. And so I came to this level, and it's just creepy as fuck, and you just hear people singing in the background, and this guy yelling at me to help him. Lord, I think he's Lord Rydale. Why did I have to aggro that fucking thing from a distance? All right. We got this. Those fucking wind chimes are going, look, god damn. Oh. He's, he's a fucking, he looks like a Martian. Oh god, I can't stun him. There we go. Fucking, uh, the mind flayer. Fresh spice. Spice must fly. What was the name of that movie with the Martians from Mars? Uh, Mars oh. Attacks? Yeah, there we go. Ack, ack. Yeah, exactly. Ack, ack, His ack. head reminded me immediately of those things. Oh. I don't remember exactly. When I'm calling you. <laughs> Got into another. If I could sing, I would, I would sing with you. Oh, yeah, you don't do the little limp wrist at shove when you have this type of sword equip. Sh she does this little number. What would you call that, uh, Noah, in your made-up sword do, language? Do, do that again. She keeps hitting the wall. It's like a little like, that little, shit little will double get slash. you killed. Uh, fun fact: I was playing Dark Souls. Uh, my every waking moment of my life. Big surprise. <laughs> but when you have like a curved sword in that game, instead of doing the kick, you do this little flourish and you like hop backwards. Right. And I had a uh, Quay Lag or Kellogg Spider Tits Fury Sword equipped. And I was up in Anor Londo running around being an asshole. Oh my god. <laughs> and I went to kick like one of the knights or something. And she, my character did that little flourish and fell over the edge. And I screamed and hollered for quite a, a number of days. <laughs> days okay. on end. You're still doing it. Look at that ugly motherfucker with his tentacle face. Did you just stab him in his tentacle face? He does not care. Oh that shit him in his balls. Ass tits. If he hits me with his stun move, he will run up and shove his needle tongue down my throat and it'll murder me. His bro, his bro Why aren't you his... hitting him? Back up! Back up! Okay. Hello, monstrosity. Nice proboscis. Wait, he has a tentacle thing? Gutter trash. Okay. Is he trying to make out with you when he stuns you? He has this, like, 
spike thing that comes out of his mouth, gaping mouth hole, and he shoves it down your throat, and you take a shitload of damage. How horrifying. He's fucking dead. Some of these cells have items in them, but if you open them, then whenever you come back here and the enemies respawn, the prisoners will be like, Oh, look, we're free. The Shawshank Redemption. Oh, you missed me, you fucker. I'm trying to get behind you. <laughs> He's so worried. I don't blame him. He's like, please don't. Please don't. Please don't, please, please don't, please don't stab me in the back. That's my worst fear. Along with dying. <laughs> oh, They're God. pretty closely related. He is, he is allergic to dying. Prison of Hope, third floor. Hey, how's it going? It's, it's, it's like, just please open that door. It's like, okay, that works too. Oh, yeah, they have spears because they're How certified How the fuck assholes. did they get those? They well, made them. they're crazy people. Yeah, they made them out of fucking Crest toothpaste. Out of the prison <laughs> bars? And salsa and rat bones. They take the entire prison bars apart and like, we have spears now to defend ourselves. And I don't know why we won't just leave. Open the door. <laughs> get on the floor. <laughs> Everybody walk the dinosaur. I, I like where this is going. Okay. Are you okay? Bust a oh. All right. Oh, yeah, I have keys now. I got keys for days. Yeah, Rydell's down there somewhere. He's very blue, and he's like, I'm trapped in a prison cell in my court. He's Deckard Cain. Oh, like, okay. Stay on and listen. What's that pot there? There you go. You can hear him. I think he's trying to shit. <laughs> He's, He's like, please help, I've been locked in here, and I need some fucking stool softener. <laughs> I feel like the angry video game nerd. My keys a shitty fucking pile of dicks. Now here's Mike Matei, and he's like, motherfuckers! There's nobody that likes Mike Matei. If the I said I like Mike Matei, I would die, so I'm not going to say it. What, what are those pots I asked before? They're just part of the background. Oh, I thought They're, Jeez, uh, Garrett. What are those called, Noah? Those things people used to put incest... Incest? Those things people used to put incest in? Incense in? Uh, an, an incense burner? No, they have a name. Cause oh, the little ones that like monks would yeah, like swing back or, and forth. I, or seraphs. Something like that. I know... That's one of those things where like I'll know it for like a day and then I'll immediately forget. There's a lot of fuckers. There is a lot of fuckers. A lot of free souls, you mean. <laughs> Yeah, they yeah, each give three. Or two. No, I got nine previously, so they can't be divisible. This doesn't sound good. You'd like for me to go in there. Okay, now I hear creepy singing. Yeah, this place is genuinely creepy. Why are we here? Why can't <laughs> we go to a nicer place? There are things that I need. Why? Iron okay, Maiden? yeah, why open Iron Maiden? Why not? <laughs> Well, this one has the uh, thief starting set in it. I could put the veil on and be alluring. I could be a sensuous maiden. You Here, could. Let's, let's put the full black leather set on. Check me out, yo. Got that back showing. Okay. This go. one has a motherfucker with a shiv in it that poisons you, and he comes out fucking stabby stabby. He don't waste. Like he don't waste the fuck. Oh, hey, you, you see nothing. <laughs> you motherfuckers, you put me in this fucking iron man. I'm gonna stab the shit out you. Could He's go. not Hank Hill. He's a crazy son bitch. Got you like crawdad. <laughs> Is he fucking Hunk Delacroix? <laughs> what a nice, easy fucking. <laughs> He's got the oldie like. Hunk Delacroix. Ancestor. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, you're so He's quiet as a phantom. Sir Hunkington. If you could choose to live as an ethereal phantom, would you do it? You can still physically interact with the world, but you don't age or hunger or feel anything. Or feel anything? All right, I, no. <laughs> but I you can't. You can't have that feel. Then you're immune to it. <laughs> you feel immune. But you don't get any feels. Not even the any only thing feels. you can feel is a Philly cheesesteak and oh, that's not bad. And a cheesecake made with Philadelphia cream cheese. That's this. just expensive. Well, so uh, you pay for your other real body. Okay, Ed, you have to choose other real body or Adam Jensen machine body. <gasps> machine body Adam all machine the way. Body. But you have to specifically ask for it. It's their new clause, so that way they don't get people in their offices fucking bitching all night and they never ask for it. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I totally, I totally asked for that. I want, I want robot arms like so bad. 
So bad. So bad. What'd you do with fucking robot arm? I'd do anything I fucking wanted. He would move the fuck out of those things on the shelves in Best Buy. I, I would. That's and then I just the punch shelves. my I just punch a way through the wall and leave. And then you meet you come back the next day and be like, why are you here? You're fired. Hmm. It was like I have robot arms, are you sure you wanna fire me? I can do anything I can do things nobody else can. Like have robot arms. <laughs> <laughs> like have robot arms. I'm pretty sure anyone can have robot arms if they want to bad enough. The lady that's singing is in there. I have seen people with robot legs. I remember going into Tsunami once and seeing they had a robot if, leg. If I ever, like, lost, like, a limb, I would totally, like, present myself to, like, the most outrageous, like, experimental, like, prosthetics and shit. So, the, it's a medical doctor who's a scientist, and they can give you robot legs, but they're also Jim of Jim and the Holograms, so they're truly outrageous. Would you still let them do it? Sure. Here's the main reason we came here. Jim and the stripper holograms. To get the ring of magical sharpness. That sounds dangerous. It's magically sharp. And delicious. It, yeah, it's also magically delicious. Were Iron Maidens ever actually used? I'm sure. Yeah, in the Inquisition. That one is full of stabby motherfucker. Oh. So we're not going to be open. It's the it. one that's ostracized from the rest of them all, every time. Yeah, because he fucking he, he's stabby. Just staring <laughs> at the rest of them. Stab happy. Criticizing. They're, I mean, are you going to go through, like, the boss in this area? Uh, the fool's idol isn't really that difficult, so I'm going to just try to murder her real quick. So that lady's singing, who is that? She's, like, the queen or something, and uh, I don't know. Her husband's went crazy Fucking on her. Fucking insane. They're Sage Freak, by the way. Oh, I am Freak. Or Freak, as he's like, no, it's sort of oh. pronounce it wrong. It's Dumas. I'm like, sure thing, Mr. Dumbass. Huh? <laughs> it's from an old commercial. Okay. His key it's also from fucking Shawshank Redemption again. The key to let him out is right before you fight the boss. As a matter of fact, if you get the key and come back, will he fight with you? No, he's like I'm going back to the Nexus. Like you to do the uh, sage things. <laughs> it's like Big Hat Logan. What does he do? He teaches you magic. Oh, uh, I, I guess similar to Big Hat Logan. Yeah, except he doesn't go crazy and think he's a fucking other Ken dragon and fucking strip down. What? He does that? Uh, if Big Hat Logan is kind of fucked up. <laughs> he has a he has hat. a fucked up secret side. Why do you think his hat is so big? When he strips down, he does keep his hat on. The developer said it was because you wouldn't know he was Big Hat Logan without his big hat. Huh? You're a motherfucker, you know that? We could get in a magic fight. Soul oh, arrow. Soul well, fist. Well, I have the ring of magical sharpness, but I would get... It makes you weak to magic as well. So, Do you think he forgot about me, or he's slowly ambling over here to fight me? Probably. He's, he... Oh, he forgot. Not Except for as soon as you walk didn't. out the, into his field of vision. Motherfucker. Like, oh, oh, I magically know. Oh, okay. I'll just pack you to death. Soul fist. Fresh spice. But it's not Old Spice, so you can't smell good. It's true. I think uh, Rydell's in here. Help me. Yeah, there he is. How's it going? Like, how does he... It appears to be alive. He literally wants to get back to his body before it, like, finishes decaying or something. It has something on it he wants. He's fucking Let me talk Alphonse. to him. Why am I not getting to talk to him? Apparently, he's like, oh, I won't speak with a lesser being. I'm like, lesser being? He's like, oh, woman. And I'm like, oh. You brought your sex assassin out of jail. Look at him now, beating on the bar. Okay, there we go. Well, my name. Yeah, it's Rydell. Is Ridia A Reed. Nobody Riddell. says their names right. <laughs> Nobody consulted Benapedia before they started voice acting. We're finally meeting all these people we keep seeing in the uh, loading it's screens. It's true. You're right. Who have we not met? We haven't met uh, Sotsky. Yeah, well, we won't meet any of him because I'm. I'm have not going to. We gonna... met patches yet. Uh, no, but we will. Spoilers, he's a motherfucker. I kind of figured that. Your head's coming through the bars. Uh, you're about to see well, a monster. A you're about to see a really unpleasant monster. It's a ball of human bodies. Oh, God, is it Legion? Yeah, we fighting Legion here. It shoots magic at you, and when it gets close to it, it uses its 50 fucking arms to slice you to death. So, we'll just leave him be. If I had the blue blood sword, I could fight him. 
I need handy Blue cats. Blue blood sword sounds awfully OP. It's really nice, but don't build up your hopes because if you plan to meet it at the Grand Galloping Gala, it's not going to be a gentleman. He's fucking losing Wait, his mind. Man. He runs at you. Silver bracelets. Oh, I can wear those. I'm a lady. They're female only. They give you more souls when you kill enemies, but only women can wear them. That's sexist. Let's see if I can wear this fluid armor. You're racist because you're just so used to killing. I, I was about to say racist. You, <laughs> you're just so used to killing. That's racist. Look at my helmet. Okay, that puts me Ugh. in sack of taters. We're gonna mix and match this oh, shit. Fluted armor is baller though. <laughs> Look at your fancy hat. <laughs> fucking right. doing art. Plate leggings. Let's see if I can wear all this. Ooh. I can. Fuck yeah. I'm an actual warrior woman, kinda. Ish. Yeah. What country do I come from now, Noah? You, Spain. you look like some sort of amalgamation. I'm from Amalgavania. Oh, yeah. I'm the first Belmont right now. You're Sonya, and you're non-canon. for door opening animation. I need to fucking, uh, if there was a PC version of this game, I could go in the files and mod the fucking, uh, the hat and coat I need to actually make this character Freya. Would you go to that extent? I would look for a thing online. Oh yeah, the Jesus statue that shoots arrows and like a motherfucker. Look at this fucking thing. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Why is it Jesus statue? It's the forearm Jesus. It's Shiva Jesus. Fucking Shiva I Jesus. Would, I would actually join a religion that worships Shiva <laughs> Jesus. Mecca Good Shiva. So, Mecca Shiva. <laughs> so here's the thing. If you're super pro at the game, you can actually run down that and roll, time your rolls so that you... Uh, you dive in between the Yeah, you, you don't get hit by the arrows. What the fuck? If you're uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you would know your roll good enough to be able to do that. <gasps> There's items out there on the ledge. I don't he need them that He just became WWE champ again last yeah. night. Oh god. He's the rock laying the smack down. Can you smell what the rock's cooking? I can. Uh, Alright. Ow! Also, you Ooh, Rudy Poo and, and all sorts of other. It doesn't matter what your soul level is. Eating grass. Normal <laughs> thing. Grass here! Okay. What we got? What we got? The dead uh, body. A wall and some stairs. Not a lot. <laughs> Rudy Tooty, point and shooty. <laughs> Cold on the cob. It appears to be locked then. Fine and dandy, give me candy. Oh, fuck it. Do I have the ward, the fucking key to the ancients? Okay, I do have the warden's key. Okay. Warden! Would you ever become the warden of a prison? I'd become Thresh the Chain Warden. Uh. That sounds cool, I guess. What? I would become Ward Friend of Laguna, who carries a goddamn anchor that he throws at fuckers. Burt Ward. Because he don't give a shit about Old nothing. Chum. Bum, 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 bum. I almost wish instead of playing as Squall in the new 1EM game, and I played as Laguna instead. And well, now we're well, all quiet. Well, fuck both of you then. <laughs> it's just we haven't played Final Fantasy VIII, so we don't know what the hell you're talking about. I played it a little bit. Only a Laguna is awesome. He's the greatest character does in all the Does he the man with the machine gun arm? He, it's not an arm. It's just, just a machine gun he carries. He does get leg cramps. But he is the oh. he is easily the best character in all of Final Fantasy. Machine gun arm? Leg cramps. He's, it's not his arm. You're thinking of Barrett Wallace. Are you? Wallace? I do. I do know that the the Black Mage's um, metal He's cover of Man with the Machine Gun is pretty cool. It ain't bad. There's one more of these I need to murder. Hey, you saved me the trouble of looking for you. Fucking for space. Is that the most insulting solo. thing you can say to a mind player or whatever? What's with the whole? I mean, a was star spawn? Um, what? Was uh, did Lovecraft invent the whole squid face thing with Cthulhu, or is that something from like an ancient culture? Oh, uh, and he was like, I'm Howard Pine for Lovecraft, and I endorse this message. I don't know, Howard what Philip Lovecraft. Oh, uh, no wonder um, he goes with HP. He's like, I got HP for days, son. You can't fight me. Uh, Ooh, the silver I think he kind of like modernized it, but I don't know if there is any other like, I think he kind of invented like the humanoid body with like the octopus head. 
Did he basically write Eternal Darkness? Because that seems for the most part, it's it's very much based on like Lovecraft and his sort of you know writers like him. His stylings. Yeah, his stylings, which his... are impetuous. I would hope. You're not Alexander. Well, are but... all these gargoyles gonna come to life? No, not are these. Are they going to be the bell gargoyles? <laughs> not these gargoyles. Although the, the second boss of this region is a pair of gargoyles you fight up in a high spot. <gasps> that sounds strangely familiar. No Night Solaire to save me, though. Damn. You need a hero. This game's closest thing to Solaire is Astrava, that spoony guy that I kicked yeah. in the first You kicked him episode. into the other guy. <laughs> I did. I'd had enough of his bullshit. Uh, okay, we got the Silver Catalyst now. That's good. It raises your max MP. Are you becoming a mage? I need magic. He is becoming the, the, the battle mage. <laughs> I hope, because these videos come out so far apart, because I can only record them when y'all come over, uh, I hope people forget in like the first episode where I was like, I made my character a warrior and I ain't using no fucking... Magic. I ain't using no magic. And magic then now I'm like, I need magic. <laughs> I need all the magic. I'm dying without your magic. Magic makes it all complete. Uh... All right, we have a motherfucker to kill, he's and he's a lot of apples that go up and down. I know spiral stairs are terrible. First, we're gonna deactivate fucking cyborg Jesus here. Oh God! The the who turned to Jesus on? gear? I wonder if it's the red phantom that I shouldn't know about, but I do. All right. Oh, you mean red skull? Oh God! You mean Elrond? The Hugo Hubbard. weaving. Right. The the clever rat's ring. Clever rat. I can use it to go into hyper mode, but I'm not that good. <gasps> what are you going to do to go into hyper mode? Uh, when you have the clever... You know the red tear stone ring from Dark Souls? Yeah. It's basically that. So when you have low health, it increases your damage. And in this game, you can stack it. There's some sword you can get that as long as you have it equipped, even in your offhand... It also gives you a hyper mode, and like they combo, like they don't just add together. One of them applies, and then the other one multiplies that. And so, God damn. you're like one hit from dead, but you also do like a shitload more damage. So, if you're good at dodging, you can use that shit. So, that's, that's fucking like, it's like in Paper Mario when you have the fucking, uh, you got nothing but like the dodge bot badges that make yourself dodge like crazy. And you have the peril badge that it, it, it triples your fucking attack damage and a fucking peril. So you can fucking boost yourself up like with charge and hoping that you dodge and all of a sudden you fucking you unleash the fucking power smash of the lifetime. You fucking power attack you one shot uh duplice or some shit. Okay. He's fucking so there's time. this guy. Oh, who do you want? It's, you got I some holy shit around you, bro. Servant. I do not wish to interfere. I won't cause you trouble. I won't. He's fucking lying. Okay, so here's the thing. As long as he's sitting here alive, every time you kill the boss, he brings it back to life of full health. So we might have to do something about him. No. Bunk, bunk. All right, this He's is, out of it. and there's the key that Sage Freak is locked up with. Does like some bad shit happen if you do kill him though? No, he's no. just literally there to make the boss immortal. That's. I guess if you wanted to farm the boss, she doesn't really give you that much though. Rolling a dude, I got that damn Sonic Hedgehog song <gasps> stuck in my head. Rolling oh. around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow. Okay, so there's a black phantom down there. A black phantom woman. Got a black phantom woman. Can't stick around, gotta keep moving on. So we're going to fight her. Oh, it's gonna. Oh, I forgot. What? This is kind of fucking crossbow fucking shit. She also turns invisible if you walk away from her. What the fuck? She has a, a ring on that does that. Did you get that said ring? Yeah, but I mean, you only really use it when you're PvPing, which, uh, spoilers, I'm not going to play online, so it doesn't matter. People just come at you with a fucking scraping spear. She's fucking going to cut your gizzard out, son. Ow. God damn it. I need poise. 
There's no damn wolf ring in this game, though, so I can't build boys for days. Ooh, I think I made her bleed. I did. You can hear the heartbeat. Do you think the sound of a heartbeat is creepy? Can be. Depending on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either that or really soothing. Oh, Chunk yeah. of Moonlight Stone. Or since it was all one word, it'd be Moonlight Stone. Also, look at all the, the friggin' like little symbols under your health Son, bars. It's like I'm a fucking red mage in Final Fantasy XI. Jokes for Hozier. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I was feeling that, son. You had bam, me. Bam bam bam. That one I could do without. <laughs> oh. Gonna save Sage Freak. Looking for Sage Freak tonight, baby. Oh, God. I could just not save him, because I don't really give a shit about him, but why not? You want to be a super cool guy, right? Oh, I forgot about that fucker. He's just losing his goddamn mind. He's angry as hell. I could technically cheese him to death right now using the bow and arrow, because in this game, the bow and arrow is some cheesy shit. God damn! If Geez Howard were to describe the bow and arrow in this game, he'd say it's too cheesy. Predictable. Sage Freak, Sage Freak, what you gonna do, what you gonna do when I come to save you? Uh, let's think. I gotta remember how to get to his damn cell. <laughs> I think it's over here. I will stain my hands with your blood. Okay, who wins in this fight? M. Bison, uh, Geese Howard, or Hayachi? I don't know any of them about Bison, so I, I guess it might be what's for Bison. Because he doesn't fucking die. Hayachi? Bison oh, dies all the time. He just has like bodies built yeah, for him. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he dies, but I mean, you never really kill him. Hey, Hachi from Tekken. I never expected to get out of there alive. My name is Frey. I, 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 I I'm going with Yes. I thought my magic would give me an edge against these demons. He's like, you now have, <laughs> you now have cancer. <laughs> oh God. Oh yeah, he gave me Jerry still lead to. Jerry. He gave you gelato. Delicious. So this thing. Steals MP or Gary? How would you pronounce that? Uh, I'd probably say Gary. It's Jordy Stiletto. He's or like, Cat, I'm gonna steal the shit out Jerry. of some MP. Data's like, Jordy, what does this MP speak of? And he's like, Oh, Data, I'm gonna cast all kinds of spells. I want a TV show that's Jordy LaForge and Data just hanging out, being bros, but like not on the Enterprise, and oh, it's God. set in 1980s. He's like, but Data is still a sophisticated android. He's like, Jordy, I have... So it's like small wonder, but... <laughs> no, because it's not ro robot pedophilia. But he's like, Jordy, I have purchased this Commodore 64. And he's like, oh, Data, that shit's so fucking whack. Chicka, chicka. And he starts spinning on his head. He's a break dancer. He's telling kids um, to read. <laughs> stay in school, kids. Do -do -do -do. Don't do drugs. Stay in drugs. Don't do school. <laughs> but don't take it from me. Do do do. Butterfly in the sky. I can fly twice as high. I don't know. God damn it, Garrett. Garrett, fuck. I don't Jesus. Know song. I'm sorry. Well, sing. Start a song. We'll sing it. I don't you know. Can, I hate you songs. know songs. <laughs> you just hate music with I a hate passion. Music. You have no idea how much I hate music. Um. You you killed it, Garrett. Just Later, I'll, I'll, start, I'll sing this song. I started singing this song earlier, and nobody fucking said shit. I was fucking singing that Sonic song that you had in your fucking head, and nobody even backed me up. I was probably... I can never remember the words of that song. I'm playing a video game. I haven't... Besides, I like Live and Learn better. Do you like Live and La Vida Loca? <laughs> Upside, oh, God. inside, out. Live and live La Vida Loca. I don't know the name of this Sonic song, but I like the one that goes, It doesn't matter now what happens, I will never give up the fight. <laughs> it's his two. It's his theme from Sonic Adventure One. You Philistines. Philistine. We about to fight that fool's idol. Mr. T addressed her, and he's like, "You fool's idol." So I guess she's a lying bitch. I I don't think she talks. She also has four arms. Does she know Shiva Jesus? And a loaf of bread. Like, look, it's the idol we support. Goddamn. 
<laughs> I'm just trying to worship my uh, idol here. and It's a bad day in church, I tell you what. They're mad at each other. He's like, you should have stopped from right, killing my friend. What's the bisque? Oh, yeah, I'm wearing the damn plague resistance. What do I want when I'm fighting you? I could put on more gear with this motherfucker. Let's do those. Get decked out, son. Ludo, you're gonna be fucking spectators. Nah. -uh. Ludo, armor, German Ooh, can as I fuck. I upgrade my shield too. Yeah, boys. I'm a soldier of fortune, soldier of God. I do look oh. very paladin esque a little bit, maybe. German paladin. German paladin. Wow. I, yeah. It sounds German as fuck to me. Paladin. Don't cast your fucking trap cards on the floor yet. I'm trying to clear out these fuckers. I probably cast... won't annihilate her like I would if I had the blue blood sword, but... Oh, god damn it! If I touch one of those, they're invisible now, and if I touch one, I become paralyzed. I'm not paralyzed, but I seem to be struck by you. There you go. I have to hit her as much as I can before she teleports and makes clones of herself. Keep swinging! One more! Ugh. Damn it. Alright, now we get to play this fucking game. Alright, you're fake. Okay, we know one of these fucking things is... Okay, they appeared for a brief moment. That's convenient. There's only the real ones, uh... The, okay, there we go. The real one shoots a big motherfucking mamma jamma thing at you. Oh god, she's got shit all around oh, her. Close. I know I'm gonna hit one. Let's take the outside edge. Please don't let there be one right in the middle. Oh, Jesus. Jeez, that is fucking tickle. Oh, fuck! Oh, yeah, god damn. At least, she's, she's at least she teleported away, but still, Jesus. Oh, perfect. Alright, shit, bitch. Yeah. Fair deal! Power word here. Alright, alright. Go around the other a... way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. She shot the little ones at me. No! I know, I'm gonna see who shoots the big bolt at me. Okay, it's... okay. Oh, shit! <laughs> Move! <laughs> there we go. It's the one down there on the right. Alright, let's grass it up. Degrassi. Alright. Keeping it grassy. I assume the there's some of those little motherfucking thick sigils on the ground here. Alright, it's you. Oh, fuck. God damn. Oh, bitch! You, wait till I get a hold of you! Oh, I bet you got one of those little fucking things in the middle of the room, don't you? She's real pleased with herself. Technically, I could use ranged attacks to figure out where she is, but... Alright, let's see if one of them shoots their fucking... Okay, oh, well, that was quick. Oh, hiding amongst the chairs, eh? The cherubs. Oh, Ooh, fuck. Damn. I missed out on some important. fucking damage. Maybe it's her. No. no. I wonder if you can murder them. They have a shitload of HP. Okay. Oh, I, the sigils were lit up, too. Oh, well, there's Ooh, the big shit. one. I got hung on the damn door. Geography is your greatest enemy in the Souls games. Damn interior designers. All right. Oh, well, we know who it is. Bitch number one, step forward. Ben, don't let it in. Oh, there you go. You didn't, oh wait, I don't have to cast heal. I'm about the to revive. Was destroyed. You revived. Look how little of a shit my character gives. She's like, fuck that bitch. I'm posting about her on my timeline, on my Facebook page, and MySpace. I still use it. Deal with it, fuckers. Did she fucking cut your gizzard out? What if those little fucking green things are still on the ground? Just as like a last <laughs> will of like, fuck you, bitch. You oh, I can't get the baby's nail. Let's see if I can get the baby's nail. Because if I walk near that altar, it's going to trigger the cutscene to take me to the next area. But if I can skirt the border of it, I can get the baby's nail. I think that's what it's called. I don't actually need it, but I just want to be able to grab it. Let's take a look at this fucking thing. I need my weapons expert. You're my Siget. So have fun dying. What are you the doing in this you. box? <laughs> what kind of n knife is that? Do I Apparently, it? it's coated in fucking plague. Yeah. Yeah. It's I guess it would make of, it a good. It looks PvP almost like weapon. a kunai, but kunai with chain. Whopper. How long are these usually? An hour. Yeah. Okay. Oh, are we going like thirty minutes? Yeah. I guess I've been walking around just fucking singing to myself in a very John Tron fashion so I can see why time went by. Got a lot accomplished though, and I haven't died. 
Oh god. Some things uh, shouldn't end with gargoyles. And I think this is one of them. So why is it ending with gargoyles? They're gonna rip Wait, you apart. Brooklyn, no! Why don't they just rip you apart? Because they're nice gargoyles. Are they, they don't look it. They're Disney's gargoyles, which no already made the joke that yeah. prick. <laughs> Lexington, <laughs> Brooklyn, Broadway. Goliath. Goliath isn't named after part of New York. No, because he's the only one. That's like the whole thing. He, he actually has a name. And Hudson. Well, neither is Demona. She's Counselor Troy. She is. Like, half the cast is fucking yeah. Star Trek. Fucking Star it's Trek. It's like Eternal Darkness and Metal Gear Solid. Eternal Metal Gear Darkness Solid. The Doll Demon's Soul. All right. I think we might be ready to fight the flame lurker. And you found the blacksmiths too, right? Yeah, we've already seen them. Mm -hmm. The reason I haven't made the blue blood sword is because I need the red hot demon soul from the flame lurker. Red hot. My character's appearance altered so drastically while I was gone. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, so like the world I wasn't might walking be all the way up there. Goddamn. Okay, I need a little bit more to get that 18. Shut up. Alright. Let's do a storied soldier of Demon Soul. Yeah, boys. Damn. Demon Soul Souls, tell you what. There we go. Yes. Art thou gonna ever fucking stop talking to me? Alright, let's repair some shit. Crescent Fauchon. Ho ho. Is it a Freya Crescent Fauci? Mm -hmm. It's a joke. It's a joke for me when I'm editing the video. I'm gonna be like, oh Ben, you sly dog. Oh god. Alright, we have to figure out our equip You're load. Come. Shut up. Alright, when I fight flame dicks, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the damn ring of magical sharpness. And then I could actually just keep this thing on. Because the regenerating ring isn't going to give me health back fast enough to matter because he's all over you like a fucking pile of dicks. Like so character. you're not... Yeah, it's not like I'm going to have time to regenerate. Plus, I clang and crackle when I roll in this. That makes me feel good. All right. So we are going to want... The Silver Catalyst. Yeah. We're going to want Spice because it must flow. Okay, we want some beefy fucking grass because he is going to be fucking nuts. Flaming nuts deep in me. And we're going to want... I need some aloe vera. Exactly. We're going to want our spice. And... That's it, really. What I'm is saying. dark moon grass? It fully heals HP and stasma. That's a mega elixir slash remedy of this game. Needs a more boss with 90 on my inventory. Doop -doop. Okay, stockpile the uh, Bob. He's like, it's not my name. God damn Baxter it. Baxter Stockman? <sighs> Baxter fucking Stockman. Okay, we don't He was you, black you. in the comics. That's because I'm black. I'm black. You know it. <laughs> I don't know if that song works as good. Alright. I guess I don't need to carry 50 fucking pounds of armor. You have a hot. But it doesn't matter. I'm not going to be picking up a lot of items before I fight this guy. Alright. Catalyst is so dinky in this one. Oh shit. She has an eye problem. I have the purple flame shield, but I need 22 strength to wield it. That would make the fight easier because it's got fire resistance for days on it. My soul patch is still there. Soul patch. I don't think it has any souls on it though. I think this was that where I ran over there and I was like, these things blow you up. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? I got one's like, hang on, what was that? And then he's trying to <laughs> turn around. He's like, wait a second. What the hell is this? All right, now we get to play the fucking platform game that From loves. From just needs to make platformers because they love to shoehorn this shit into their Souls games. They're like, oh, you want this item? Well, have fun trying to walk your clumsy-ass character out to it. Dick. And they laugh in their piles of money. 
I don't think so. I, is that I wonder loaded. if they've ever put like an item in an area where you literally cannot get to it. They would love to do that. And it'd just be like some rinky dink shit too. It'd be the pendant. Yeah. <laughs> they'd be like, oh, you picked a pendant, you fucker, I'll get you goo. Lol, well, it was a joke. Did you write it? <laughs> Did you write it? I'm trying to remember exactly how to fall here without breaking my fucking neck. There we go. Why do we fall, Master Wayne? And he's like, Alfred is so I can get to the boss quicker. He's like, oh, well, never mind. The flame lurker had a ruby to size of a tangerine. Alright. I'm fucking metal. Fucking metal. That's metal as shit. Are you full metal alchemist? I am. I made that full metal alchemist joke earlier. Did I you? Was no. I, I don't think I heard you. Well, I was probably yelling I'm, or I made, singing. I, you were talking about, um, just what's his name, Sage Tree wanting to get back to his body. <laughs> no, Riddell. Riddell wanting to get back for, to his body before it <laughs> rots. And I was like, he's like Alphonse. Alright. Also, you're like half elf. Yeah, I know. Do you? I do. <laughs> Magic heal. Schwa! Look at that fancy little crystal. Fresh slice? Fresh spice. Oh. Fresh slice. This. Alright, let's go in here and either kill him or die. <laughs> Those are my options. I could quit the game too. <laughs> There's three options. Time to get rich or die trying. What if all three options come into play right now? Like you kill him but after, like you kill him but he kills you. And then <laughs> out of anger you shut the game off. That's very, you are very good at predicting the future because that's exactly what I would do. <laughs> this motherfucker. When is he gonna burrow? He can't fit through there, bro. Burrow. He doesn't really seem to be lurking in the flame. Jesus fuck. He's not pleasant. It's like the centipede demon of this game. He's a little grim looking. Like a Balrog type motherfucker. Alright. Oh fuck. What the oh, <laughs> I'm trying to hit him with a heal. Jesus. <laughs> He's not pleasant. The fucker doesn't like magic though, so I'm banking on that. Soul fist! Soul fist! Magic missile! That's the fucking... In the original Japanese version, you could get him stuck on the terrain and just shoot like arrows at him. Don't leap at me. Don't leap at me. Bro. He just wants to get inside the ground. I'll find you, son. Don't get stuck in the terrain yourself. Oh, it'll, it'll happen. There's nothing I can do. Nothing at all. Begun. I'm just dashing around at the speed of flame. <laughs> <laughs> He's flame bow. <laughs> flame bow. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good chance to get the fuck out of that in your corner. He's still he's angry, but so far he hasn't really been that impressive other than those. Well, that's I because I <laughs> I divined through a certain network of people that have played the game before me that you could uh oh god, I pissed him off. You divined through Crash. gyromancy? I learned that he's not fond of magic and you can use it to put him in his fucking place. Holy shit, that was close. <laughs> his sound effects remind me of uh, one of the tyrants from uh, Resident Evil. Like, it makes that same sight of weird growling noise. Almost got him. Don't deep race it. Don't, don't, be don't nice deep here. race. I need to stick to the plan. Yeah, don't, do don't fucking deep Alright, one more. We'll put him in his fucking place. There we go. Too yeah. easy. Yeah. Fucking spam that soul fist. Did I revive? Oh wait, I was already alive. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna go through the and rest of the go. game as a human. <sighs> That's the plan. Did you have fun pretending to be a human? You're not a man. You're a chicken, boo. So what is Vash's Stampede? A plant? Like, as in, like a 
plant that grows in the ground or one of those plants from the show, like the giant power stations given human form. I Like, I never understood that. <laughs> I assumed they were plants that were used as an energy source, like a, a weird tree, like, plant thing, like an organism. Mm -hmm. But they're, like, weird human forms that give off lots of energy that they use as, like, power supplies or some weird shit. I see. That's uh, that's always kind of what I assumed, but... Alright, it's time to get souls. But it's been a long-ass time since I've actually watched uh, Trigun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that's my acapella version of the Trigun theme. <laughs> I have no idea if, if it's any part of it. I just remember that it's, like, guitar music. Most people like it. Dun, dun, that's... Oh, that's perfect! Uh, while I'm just using up these souls and the game is being boring... Uh, Garrett can explain to us what Trigun is and what it's about. I only know that a lot of people on the internet love to fucking use uh, Vash as his fucking as their avatar or their fucking name or both. I've seen a lot of them. Happy now. What do you know about Vash the Stampede, the humanoid typhoon? Alright, that's the guy in the red coat with the blonde spiky hair that has guns and shit, right? Mm hmm. That's literally, I don't know that much about it. I know, I know that. I guess he's a good guy. Because he seems to be in good spirits most of the time, and he uh, he seems like a comedy relief character in and of itself. But I really haven't seen that much. He has like these weird fucking guns. They look like they have like you know, maybe three barrels. I'm just gonna guess. I really don't know. Can't argue with logic like that. <laughs> Try gun. I literally I just said that because I want to yes. make a pun with that. What did the Link say to Zelda when the sword wouldn't work? <laughs> Try gun. <laughs> I got souls. You got souls for days. Souls in the bank. Are you gonna put the fucking power level? And there we go. I can use the blue blood sword. Let's go get that motherfucker. Yeah, it's this one, right? Yeah. Time to be broken. Yay. Oh yeah, they got that weird insect wing sword. What'd you say not to get your hopes up for? I remember you we were saying about something with a blue blood sword and then you're like, well, I get your making, hopes up. I was making a stupid joke oh. about a certain uh cartoon that if anyone knows what I was talking about, they'd have no right to get mad at me because that wasn't a fucking obvious shit. Okay. There's one of those little crystal wizard fingers over there. Yeah, those things are fucking useless to me. They're dead I, to you now. If they dropped hardstone, I could like upgrade a shield with them or something. Hey, blacksmith fucker nuts. You hey, ready to upgrade my shit yet? Sexy lady. Hey. <laughs> I like walking away from NPCs. Especially him. You are short. Yes. There we go. Now you can yes. Bring. Thank you. Upgrade weapon, broken sword into blue blood sword. Thank you. Well done. Let's equip that shit. I'm still not in Sagittator's mode. She does a little haha -ha thrust with it when you do this. Is that a genuine sword fighting move, No, to do a little fancy I, prancy I don't think you'd want to, like, But you'd get so much momentum. Much, unless you're doing, like, a sneak attack, but... Oh, yeah, I guess you could sneak attack. Hippie Man! Hey, Hippie Man, what do you sell? What are you all His about? His name is literally Filthy Man. <laughs> it is. Oh, he sells Hearthstone. That's nice. I don't give a shit, but it's He's nice like, that he sells it. Don't leave me. He's like, bring back some Perk Plus or some sell some blue. I'm riddled with dandruff. And she's like, you'll never see me again. The Yurt, Silent Chief. The Silent Chief. His name should be Yurt. Hey, he's Latrek or Lorderick. I don't. I honestly don't know if it's Latrek or Lorderick off the top of my head. I think it's uh, Latrek. It's Dick. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> it's what his name is. Okay, let's figure out. We gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear to the ball. I to needed him to go ball. to the gala ball. <laughs> to the gala ball. Okay. So let's see. If I wear, you better be getting them clothes off right now. <laughs> Yeah, we want you and the talisman of God. Okay, so this is my basic loadout, and I'm still light. I could do calculations, but let's just put shit on and make myself pretty until it works. I need my cool dick helmet, so there we go. What about that fluted armor? Shit's tight. Nope, already sagitators. Should have known. So we'll go with the leather armor. There we go. 
As far as pants, fluted leggings, probably of yeah, probably a bit. God damn. Sack of taters, guaranteed, confirmed for brawl. Also sack of taters, so we will have to go with the black boots. There we go. Now we're a fighter for God. I just like the thing, uh, if it was a bit more accurate as to what was weighing you down, like the <laughs> boots, you just kind of fall over. You're like, oh, shit. All right, I don't need you anymore. You're done. You're mm. done. Oh, yeah, I could downgrade my shield. Because they both do. Oh, no, that doesn't do 100% damage. Well, fuck oh. that. Oh, God. I held in a sneeze, so I didn't sneeze over the fucking mic. You look like you're about to throw up. No, I, I just went... <laughs> I had to stop myself from fucking going all over the mic. All right, that's a classy warrior lady now. Uh, so now let's kill. How much time we got? Like ten minutes before we're at an hour. Yeah. We could murder the old hero. You heartless bastard. Oh well, uh, let's let's knock the tower knight over. Just, just uh. go push him over, like, eh, and he's like, you it's, a, it's just you and a bunch of other, like, undead come along, and, like, he's sleeping, you go and push him over. <laughs> he reminds me... It's, it's how you get initiated into, like, the friggin' the Nexus. I assume his parallel doppelganger in Dark Souls would be the golem that you can make fall off <laughs> the damn tower. Just... Or you can get Iron Tarkus to do it for you. Iron Tarkus fucks the shit out of that guy. You summon Iron Tarkus, and he just walks over to the boss fog and turns and looks at you while tapping his foot, and you're like, you want to fight the boss? And he just glares at you. And you walk through the fog. First, he picks you up and throws you at the golem. Then he runs over to the golem and suplexes him, and his neck fucking telescopes into his torso, and he's dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Iron Tarkus is a son of a bitch, and you do not fuck with him. Do you ever see him ever again? Uh, you can find his dead body in Anne Orlando that has his gear on it. No. Somebody fucked with him in one. He probably it was a, his time. It was old he man suplexed time. himself. We haven't been here in a long time since I came here to get that spear so I could, you know, yeah. pretend that I use spears. <laughs> Back when I was going to be original. All right, come on, you dragon motherfucker. More of a well, drake. I mean, that sword looks like it should be on the end of a spear. Alright, there I'm you sorry. are. There are more drakes. What's the definition of a hell kite? I've, what? You no, know, I don't act like you don't know things in the I, I don't think I've ever heard that term used for like a dragon. Well, the one that fucks you up in the undead parish in Dark Souls is called like the hell kite dragon. Plus, Magic the Gathering, there's all kinds of fucking hell kites. We'll see, there you go. Maybe it's like a dragon flies through the air spewing fire, so it's kind of like a hail kite. I, I assume. There's a chance that these fuckers are going to block me, and I'm not going to be able to not get burned to death. <laughs> Blue butt sword, bitches! They're like, Jesus Christ, Frank! <laughs> Frank, no! <laughs> I mean, Hellkai might just be a, a ye oldie term for, like, a dragon or something, but... I figure dragon is old enough. I have no items equipped, like, to my quick slots. Let's rectify that. Rectification! Do you all not like my rectification stuff? Tell you what, we'll put a little bit, a little bit of spice on there, because it must flow. We can't stop making that joke. Okay. Yeah. Some people no, go no. under the tunnel here if, and do if, shit, but... If he didn't make the spice jokes, I would, so... I just realized I haven't gone back and saved uh, the fucker, John, oh, the Riddell? useless guy. No, uh, fuck Riddell. I don't have freak. his key yet. I say freak. The guy, Ostrava, he's uh, he's trapped down here because even though he can one-shot all the enemies, he needs me to save him. So let's take the tunnels. Hey, Those doggies! Fucking dogs. Who's a good little boy? He's a blue butt sword. Hey! Someone needs to house train these dogs. Seriously. You are a motherfucker. You know that? And you're going to get the motherfucker death you deserve. It's like a, just a oh, soldier. Hey, it's uh, the little dude who's like, Oi, I'll be selling to you. And I'm like, okay, well, good for you. Kill that motherfucker. Ah, we meet again. Fancy that. Oh. Fancy that indeed. Gradually. He's like the undead merchant. Does he drop the what's it call it? No, I already have Uchi an Uchi Katana. Katana. I don't need to murder anybody for one. Let's buy some of this. Let's buy 17 of this. Thanks God, for that. Know. There we go. I feel better about myself. Would you ever do, like, your Resident Evil 4 run through and just kill every merchant after you meet them once? 
Uh, it depends on what ones I need. Response, Technically, I don't need the blacksmith in the that made the blue blood sword anymore, so I can murder him. I don't want to kill Stockpile Thomas, because then you can't store or retrieve items. That should have been a damn parry. You're getting parried. Maybe this shield can't parry. That's my excuse. It's not me, it's the shield. Ah, the controls, Aaron. The buttons don't work. Aaron. <laughs> Your John Tron impression is very desperate. <laughs> Why? There we go, boys. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I expected things to hit me, but they didn't. I am an arbiter of God. Made flesh. And I fear. Asked in the name of God, ye not guilty. All right, Noah. You have to serve a fictional God with all of your resolve and might, and they will bless you for it. Which fictional God do you pick? Oh, God. Oh. Um, <laughs> the only correct answer is Shiva Jesus. <laughs> I forgot Mecha about Shiva that. is pretty good. Mecha Shiva Jesus. I forgot about Shiva Jesus already, even though it was created in this very video. Less than an hour ago. Yep. I feel like I've accomplished a lot. You've also been shot by a crossbow. Like like, I've activated my fucking... Ass sword I've activated my Bankai. <gasps> Bankai. Blue blood. Blue blood a sword a dog. I shoved him. You're like, no. <laughs> Quit it. What? Remember when you could parry and then repulse by shooting a dude with a crossbow? I think I did that in the first yes, video. Yes, you did. <laughs> it was beautiful. Hey, how's it going? I saved you. Thank you. That makes twice. Oh, hey. Thanks to you, How I can now would you describe his sword and shield? <laughs> Holy. Please accept that it. shield funny. looks pretty impractical. And now he just walks around being a boss. Seriously, you can run down here and talk to him, and he's like, oh, you saved me, thanks. And he walks down this hall and just swings that sword, and it ends all life around him. It's like the opposite of the Tensega. I gotta see it. The Tetsaiga? No, oh, that's Inuyasha's sword, isn't it? Yeah. The Tensega is Shishomaru's sword that brings people back to life. His dad trolled the shit out of him. Yeah, he did. He's like, my sons, I'm the great dog demon, Inu dog demon. And I made you swords out of my teeth. And they're like, that's rad as hell. And Inuyasha's like, whatever, stupid girl. And uh, he gets his bitch ass pinned to a tree. And then, <laughs> and so he makes uh, Inuyasha a sword that fucking cuts the wind scar, whatever that fucking bullshit means, and blows shit and, up. And it does, like, all sorts of other shit, too. It's the fucking, it's the Samus Aaron's power armor of mythical swords. You just add upgrades to it. Pretty but, much. His brother, Sosomaru, who's full-blown demon and is an asshole and would obliterate humanity in an instant, he gave him a sword that literally brings dead people back to life when, like, you slash them with it. And he's like, why did my dad give me this sword? I assume to teach him not to be a dick, but spoilers, he doesn't give him He doesn't learn that lesson very well. I assume he upgrades it with a Bushido Buster technique or something. Like, I didn't watch a lot of Inuyasha. I, I think... Well, just read one fanfic where they finally fuck and you'll have the closure you desire. I think she finally finished that fucking series. Oh, I thought you were going to say she finally finished him and I was like, all right, good for you, Kagome. You bitch. What was... Was it Kaguya? Was that the chick that looks like... Oh, you're Kagome. in a world of fucking shit now, son. What's the one that I said was a bitch? Oh, uh... uh What's her name with the Sango with the boomerang? Uh, Sango. Like half the people in that series are like dead or going or are going to die. You better get ready to die. Motherfucker. What? What's her time at? Uh, you got like 15 an, seconds. Yeah, approaching an hour and 15 seconds. Yeah. All right. Well, fuck it. We'll just, the tower knight isn't going to take long. I have to hit him in his cankles, and he's like, oh, shit, balls. The, uh, I remember uh, a, a different playthrough of this game. When I was playing through this area, I was listening to Pod Toyed at the same time. Oh, and God. this is where Jonathan Holmes started talking about his GameCube commercials. Oh, and God. so this area has always burned into my mind with horrific imagery. 
Oh, God. Those are so <laughs> fucking bizarre. My favorite is the little boy. Okay, Garrett. Uh, there's a podcast called Podtoid. Uh, one of the people on it is named Jonathan Holmes, and you think he's a sane person, but apparently he's not. No, he is beyond all <sighs> human understanding. He pitches his ideas for commercials for the GameCube, even though it was like 2012, so obviously they're not going to make new GameCube commercials. So here was his idea for a GameCube commercial. A little kid, like a 12-year-old kid, gets up in the morning and goes out for a jog. And there's some song, I don't remember the song, but there's some yeah. like optimistic song playing. And as he's running down the street, all of his neighbors are waving and everything's so happy. And then all of a sudden, a GameCube comes off camera and just hits him in the head, just like full-blown. And he like kind of stumbles a little bit. And then... He just starts getting pelted from like off a, camera. Like a rain. Like, like just GameCube after GameCube oh smashing into him. And then by the end of the commercial, he's laying on the ground broken and dead under a pile of GameCubes. And the screen fades to black, and then there's white text that says, was it his neighbors or was it God? And then it says Nintendo GameCube. That doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> I'd have bought a GameCube, though. I don't know if I would. Oh, my what? favorite is the snails one. <laughs> oh, God. The snails ones, where it's basically just like this, like old, like MTV VJ, exp like you know, just telling people that snails, snails don't they, they deserve to die. They hate themselves. They just want to die. And then it cuts to like a like a, a or no, I think it was a slug. It cuts to like a <laughs> slug, and he's like, oh god, look at those fucks, those fucks over there with their shells. What the fuck? And then it cuts over to like some snails and they're staying there in their shells and they're just being like super like dude bros talking about like Xbox Live and their their KDR and shit. And then it cuts back to this like it's like ah oh, those fucks I was like they they don't know what they've got those assholes and then a GameCube just comes out of the sky and lands on this slug and kills it. And then it comes back to the VJ and it's like hey kids you ever see slugs go ahead and kill them and then the GameCube leaps up and like bites the dude's throat out like super graphically it, like rips out his throat and like it freeze frames as it's doing that and it has like slug eyes coming out of it so it's like a cyborg gamecube slug creature killing this man this you know i just bought a gamecube because i thought it was cool when i could play resident evil 4 on it <laughs> Now you're not sure if that reason. was a good decision. <laughs> I mean, it's still a good, fuck, a good video game. Check I your need, shield. I, I need to get my GameCube back. Where is it? It's, it? I wanted to a friend of mine, like, years ago. We're having such an nonchalant conversation while I'm letting a pitifully easy boss hit me. And then, apparently, like, between now and then, he, like, loaned it to another, like, friend of his. And, like... The only real reason I need it back is because I want to transfer some fucking data off of a memory card that won't work in my Wii. And that's it. That's that's the main reason. Because I plan on getting like one of those super huge, like official Nintendo GameCube memory cards off of like Amazon sometime soon. This is my official idea. And, and trans posed, by the transfer way. transferring all that shit. Look at my elbow shoulder pads. They're so kawaii. <gasps> the bracelets go around her four fingers. That's awesome. It's so detailed. It is. She's so... Here, we'll end the video just looking at her soulless face. Like, she doesn't... Her eyes don't focus on anything. God. So creepy. <laughs> Say something, Garrett. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, let her die. Damn. That was an accident. She was trying to kill you. <laughs> She's trying to reach through the void. 